Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I want to be unboxing my fake crate box for the month of January. It finally arrived. So yeah, let's finally go ahead and open the box up. So here it is. I already opened it. So yeah. All right. So behind this beautiful art print here is a spoiler card, and this month's theme was deep dive for the month of January, and the spoiler card looks. A little bit different from what they normally look like so yeah so let's go ahead and open the first thing so the first thing here is this which seems to be like a sleeve of some sort um it's green to design on it i mean i guess it's nice um yeah i think it holds like a cup or something so this is the lord of the rings ice cream cozy by reading Robbery. Um, I never read Lord of the Rings. I have no interest in Lord of the Ring. Um, but yeah, it is an ice cream cozy, which I don't know. It's interesting. So that's the first item. The next thing we have is this inside a little bag. So let's go ahead and take it out of here. They sent an email about this one. I'll have to open it and read it. So I know it's a sticky note stationary thing for like a milk sh milk shape carton box thing. But yeah, it just has um sticky notes inside. So it says palace secrets must never get out on it or else in eventity there will be blood. I definitely mispronounced that. But yeah. So let me see i to open this real quick and be back. Okay, so I don't know why I looked at the email because there's, I don't know if you will be able to help, but there's like a dotted line there that you're able to see and you're able to just cut it open. Like so, kind of terribly. But yeah, and then you just have, it's kind of, hard to get a clean cut on it so now it looks kind of ugly but whatever um and then you just have these little sticky well they're not even sticky notes they're just these blank pages that you can write on but it's not sticky so there's just small pages of paper with a nice design on them so yeah you just grab them from the bottom um i don't know I don't know. So you just pull it out, but it kind of damages it a little when you pull it out, but it's just a little design. I mean, it's a nice item. It is what it is <laughs> from Fred Crate. The next thing we have is this right here, which is a tea strainer, which is probably my third, fourth one that I have received from all of my boxes, Christian boxes I have out there. And yet, I have yet to try tea out really from all the boxes I received. But I do want to get into cooking tea. So, yeah, so. It's a um, tea strainer. This one's actually kind of cute though. It has like a little design pot there. And it has like a little top on it for that. Um, yeah, I don't know what this thing is, though. This right here. So, maybe just like that. Maybe, I don't know. But, it's pretty cool. So, this is a Magic Steep and Poison Tea Infuser, uh, which is designed by Fake Creed Team. Um, yeah. Metal Tea Strainer inspired by Magic Steep and Poison by Judy L. Lin. So, I mean, I don't know though. It feels like it's pretty small compared to um, the other tea infusers they got. So, I don't know. But there's, there's that. Um, then we have... Oh, this is really, really cute. I have no idea what it is, but... This is such a cute thing. They're like little octopus in very nice colors. 
So take that out. Look how cute this is. This is literally the cutest thing I have ever seen. There's just cute little octopus. Um, let's see. I think they might pop off. Oh. Oh, so I think they're just highlighters. So we have like the purple highlighter. Um, kind of be gotta be careful putting it back on. Then we have a pink highlighter. Hopefully you can see that. And then you put that back in. Gotta be kind of careful though. Um, yeah, they gotta be very careful to clothing these. Cause I'm kind of damaging the the tip. Um, yeah, then we have like an orange one. These are very cute though. We have a yellow highlighter. These are so cute. And we have this green one right here, which is so adorable. I love these, these are so cute. Don't know if I'll actually use them though, just cause I kind of, they're very easy to damage when you close them up. But I think it's so cute though. Um, I probably won't use them. I'll probably just gonna have them looking very cute somewhere. But these are so adorable. I really love these. So they're Octopi Highlighter Set. So yeah, this is so cute. I really love this item. Probably one of the best items that this box has ever included. So yeah, and then we have a Polaroid that says, Hello little bird, care to dance on it? So that's a little Polaroid that they always do. Um, in their boxes, which it is inspired by Belladonna. So, yeah. And now we're down to the actual book here. This is the first month where they did something very nice to the edges of these pages, and the hardcover is also a nice following. So, this month's theme book, I mean, is Where Ocean Burns by Casey Bond. So we have this exclusive redesigned cover, which is stunning. Then the spine here, this is a very thick book as well. And then we have the back cover here. I love the artist that did this page, this cover. So beautiful. And then the edges here, they're like silver metallic glittery pages, which hopefully you could tell. So, I mean, I'm not mad at this. I would prefer these on all other books. Um, if they did these or gold foil uh, pages, I would, I would prefer those than just the normal pages that they don't be doing. Um, and it's also, it came with a signed book plate, but I just put it inside the book already. Um, so that's really nice. And then, they also did some nice pulling on the naked hardback, which is the first time I've seen them do this in a monthly box. So it's a beautiful, nice pink book with this nice blue and silver foiling on the actual cover, which I think is really, really stunning. And then I really love the spine of this one. I think the spine came out really, really good. Very, very pretty. And then here's the back cover with some nice blue and silver foiling as well. I wish they kept doing these to all their books, um, but they only seem to be doing this for their January box um, because their February book and their March book and April book so far that they announced, um, they're getting none of these, none of the same treatment. So it seems like they're only doing it for this book, which is really interesting. I think because this one was a indie published book, and maybe that's why they're able to do all these custom things to it. Because I know their other books that they chose are traditionally published, but I think this one was indie published, so maybe they have more leeway into doing more custom things to it. Um, I'm not sure, but it is kind of disappointing because this is such a beautiful book. 
And then there are other boxes that we're going to be receiving from them are just going to be a redesigned cover, um, which kind of sucks. So I really wish they would keep doing this redesign cover, some nice pages, whether it be sprayed edges or foil pages or, you know, whatever. Um, and then some nice foil hardbacks would be nice if they keep doing that, but it seems like we're just going to keep getting um, just redesigned covers and that's it, uh, which kind of sucks, but I do like their covers that they do redesign. I um, also do want to show you guys like these nice pages that are throughout the book. So these are like the chapters. Um, some pages just have some random feathers, which is so pretty. I um, don't know why, but that's pretty nice. Um, there's some random arrows there. Um, it's such a pretty book, so like randomly, they just be like random feathers. So I don't know what that's about, but that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, um, I wish they were able to keep doing these nice features to all their books. Sally, so it seemed like that's what they're going to be doing. Kind of sucks. Some pages just had these random things on here. I don't know, but they're, they look nice. Um, but it it does kind of suck that for the January book, they were able to do all of this. And then there are boxes that we're getting later on. Um, it's just going to be normal redesign covers. Um, I kind of want to cancel and not get their books no more, but because their items are never that great. I feel like this month, though, um, their items weren't that bad, to be honest. Um, and I love what they did to the book. Um, I always love the book cover that they do, but I just wish they were able to do, you know, the custom things to it. So I'm still debating whether or not to cancel. I have bought the fairy book box and the March one as well because I was interested in those books so I want to see what they do to those. Um, I wasn't able to get the April box though. It sold out pretty quickly um, but they might um, they might be able to have some leftovers which I kind of hope they do because the April box um, they announced a book to that and it's a book that I really want to get from them because um, I love the author so hopefully they have some leftovers so I get that book. But yeah, anyways, let me know your thoughts on this book box, their items, the book. I think the book is beautiful and I love what they did to it. But yeah, anyways, like, comment below, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.